International Coral Reef Initiative is a very unique partnership between governments and non-governmental organizations, academics, um, the scientific community, and the main aim of our meeting here is to get the members together to improve the concerted, organized efforts to help coral reefs globally. And who are the main participants? Perhaps Nippon, you must know, because they're the, you're, uh, you're one of the... Yeah, there are many uh, participants from many countries, in, including Thailand. I think there are over 20... 20 countries two? and 15 government, I mean, 15 organizations. How many participants? Uh, from Thailand, actually, I'm a focal point for, for Thailand, and there are some, uh, like, 10 observers from Thailand. Uh, Do you work both at the Phuket Marine Biological Center, but also with the Green Fins? Yes. Thailand? I'm working for the Green Fins project, too. That is the initiative uh, I started about um, four or five years ago. So I know coral reefs are one of your passions, aren't they? Yes, yes, that's right. Um, Ernesto here, you're from Mexico. Um, what's your main interest in this meeting? How important do you think this meeting is? Well, we're uh, uh, very privileged to have been uh, named uh, uh, co-chairs for the ICRI to help the USA over the last uh, year. And um, uh, our interest is to continue collaboration. Uh, Mexico has established a number of new protected areas, including uh, coral reefs. And so uh, coral reefs are an, an asset to the, to the economy and an asset to the environment. How many times have you had this sort of meeting and, and, you know, before in the past? We were counting up the other, um, just this morning, and this is probably the 26th meeting. Uh, ICRI was officially organized in 1994. It is one of the first organizations of its kind that brings together governments, NGO, scientific community. It's, it's just a very, very unique organization. We try not to have a, more than one meeting a year. We do a lot virtually because we just don't want to increase our carbon footprint any more than we need to. Is Phuket a good location for this, both for the logistics but also the, the subject matter of corals around this area? Oh, Phuket's a phenomenal location for this. That's why we were so pleased when Nippon and Thailand was willing to host us. It's absolutely phenomenal. Well, we've got some posters behind here looking at some of the problems and the, uh, the solutions, but Kun Nippon, you particularly, let's talk about Thailand. What are the main problems and what are uh, ideas for solving the problem? The, the main problem for Thailand uh, coral reef right now is the sedimentation, especially like um, the sedimentation is not, oh yeah, this like uh, this location where there are a lot of the sediments run off from uh, shore development, especially on the east coast of Phuket area. Yeah. Sedimentation is from too much sand and mud and, uh, and gravel? It is from uh, when they clear out the land for a big construction of the big resort, thing like that. And they, they dump, sometimes they dump sand near shore and when it rains, and the runoff will bring uh, sediment into the reef and that can pollution. Uh, the solution that Actually, uh, for the big project like that, they, they have to have the EIA. Yeah, they have to. Uh, they have to abide. They have the uh, environmental assessment impact. Yeah, and they have to abide to the regulation strictly. Sometimes, not so well. Should they build like a dam to stop the runoff? Yes, to, to like contain a, it so it doesn't a, go. In the I'll make a seal curtain. Uh, in that area, so that prevent uh, settlement to flow outside. But some, sometimes it doesn't work well, and that kill coral in many pla many places. What about the problem we talked to you a couple of years ago about crown thorn thorn yeah. starfish? Are they still killing some corals? Uh, well? Crown thorn starfish outbreak is uh, still happening in some area, but this is very localized. As I get the information from the, the divers, the dive operator, right now there are some outbreak at Simulan Island, yes, and near Phuket we still have it at Go El, the small island, and some part at the uh, Daratong National Park, Adang Rawi Island also. So you're going to show the delegates some of the examples of these problems and solutions? Yes, yes. yes, as I show them from the, uh, with this poster that what kind of problem we have. This is also a uh, coral disease, which is a newly emerged uh, subject 
that we、uh, study since、uh, last year. Disease by food from this is that this is on coral. This can cause by like a f-、uh, fungus or bacteria. And the scientists today, they they are they.、Uh, we are thinking of there's a linkage, a link between、uh, global warming, which can cause more disease in the coral reef at present time. And is there is that a similar problem in Mexico, a very hot country, is the sea warming up in that area? Yeah, well, we are seeing、uh, some、uh, problems with that. What's called bleaching. It's mainly from.、Uh, From uh, uh, warm uh, waters or unusually warm waters, and、um, but there's also many other、uh, threats to the、uh, health of the coral reefs.、Uh, people think that it's all on, in the water, but a lot of times、uh, the threat comes from outside, from the land.、Uh, one of the one of the problems we're having in、uh, some of our some of our coral reefs is that、uh, the sewage sometimes、uh, goes. Uh, deep and then into the into the sea, and that also and, and that also creates、uh, problems and it creates problems also for humans because、uh, it contaminates or pollutes the underwater sources of、uh, the sources of uh, water uh, underground, and、um, and of course we also have a lot of tourism and tourism is a benefit but we also need to manage tourism so it does not create. A threat for the reef. So we're very happy that people come in contact with nature and visit us. But at the same time, we need to maintain what's called the carrying capacity, so that the reef is healthy and the people can enjoy it even more.